Free-flowing, locally produced and editorially independent news and information can transform lives and enrich communities. This is at the core of internews programs. Working in some of the most challenging environments, internews uses new technologies to bring innovative solutions to hard problems. When Pakistan's worst natural disaster struck in 2005, the quake killed 80,000 people and left 3.5 million homeless. Local media was crippled. Internews quickly set up eight emergency response FM stations, a vital source of information. The impact of this radio program was huge. It started providing information in real time. It started providing information in local languages and it started pinpointing inadequacies in the relief effort. Internews envisions a world where people can communicate freely and access the information they need to shape their future. To make this happen, Internews addresses the legal and regulatory environment, advocates for sound internet policy, helps media become financially viable, and advances journalists' professional skills. Internews, in its training, in its workshops, they reminded journalists, reporters, what their work is really about. Dr. Raja Sarguli saw a real need in our West Bank community for news and information. In 1996, she founded Al Fajir Al Jadid Television. I believe that journalism in Palestine is very weak and underdeveloped, not tough enough. If you believe in a certain idea, you should fight for it and get it out of the interview. We don't have that ability. Dr. Sarguli's journalists have enhanced their reporting skills with support from Internews. The station has launched two new programs, bringing vital information to the community. He came to our home and took our parents. Giving a story, a human face or that human voice brings a story to life. You're talking about me and you because it's real, somebody sharing their own personal experience. To tell these stories, Internews develops beat journalists on critical issues. Internews public health reporting program, Local Voices, humanizes and localizes reporting on HIV AIDS, malaria and avian influenza, raising the level of dialogue and providing ongoing support and mentoring to a cadre of health reporters. Many people in developing countries who are most vulnerable to climate change have never heard of global warming. Or species loss and deforestation, even though these issues directly affect them. Internews's Earth Journalism Network builds the skills of local journalists and provides resources to cover these stories. Transmitting from a 20-foot cargo container in a frontier town in eastern Chad, Radio Absun broadcasts to Darfuri refugees. Part of Internews' humanitarian response work, these programs directly affect survival by reporting information about security, food and water distribution, and where to get health services. The radio program She Speaks, She Listens, produced by women who live in the refugee camp, breaks new ground by covering violence against women, giving a voice to women, and stimulating community dialogue on child marriage and other women's issues. Internews empowers people worldwide with news and information they need and the means to make their voices heard.